and welcome back to SMKC TV. We are so happy that you're joining us and we'll be joining back with the Cheeky Banders again too. This week's theme is going to be praise. Yes, and we are going to learn all about why we pray and how we praise. Let's head over to the Cheeky Panthers and hear about it now. Today, we are observing the Cheeky Panthers in their natural habitat. It turns out it's not the misty mountains of China, but instead in a treehouse studio deep in the heart of England. It is a splendid day in the Cheeky Panda's treehouse studio. There seems to be lots of excitement. The pandas have been nominated to win an award for one of their songs. CJ, Benji and Lulu are waiting to hear the big announcement about who has won the award and are feeling very confident. Hello, CJ. You seem to be very busy. Oh, hello, Mr. Narrator. Yes, today is going to be a great day. I'm about to win. I mean, um, we're about to win a duck award for one of our songs. How very exciting. You must be ecstatic. What an excellent day. Get it? Because ducks lay eggs. <laughs> anyway. Hey, hey CJ. CJ. The award ceremony has started. Quick, put the bamboo TV on. Welcome back to the 25th Annual Duck Awards. We're coming to you live from Scunthorpe, England. This year, the award for Song of the Year goes to... The Cheeky Monkeys! What? what? Oh, this is bad. Very bad. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Maybe next time, guys. It seems that CJ has taken the news very badly. Do you think that there is anything that can be done to cheer her up? I have a great idea. We could each do something for her to show her how much we love her. That will cheer her up. Well done, pandas. How very thoughtful of you to show CJ that you love her. We need to get her a gift. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? To, to the, the bamboo, bamboo phone! phone. Uh, hello. I need to order a plant. A very special plant. Right away, please. Thank you. It's, it's the, the Pandaroo delivery. delivery! Awesome! Oh, CJ! We brought you a present to cheer you up. Wow, thank you. Oh, what is it? It's a Venus flytrap. It catches flies. Wow! I don't know what to say. You guys are the best. I was having such a bad day after we didn't win the Duck Award. It seems to me, CJ, that you feel very loved by the kindness of your panda pals. Can you imagine how God feels when we speak or sing about how great he is? Or when we show him how much we love him through our actions? The Bible has a special word for this. It's called praise. But what if you're having a bad day and you don't really feel like praising God? Well, even on bad days, it does us good to praise God because it reminds us of how good he is and how much he loves us. You know, there is a story in your Bibles about two people who chose to praise God when they were having a very bad day. The story is about Paul and Silas. They were locked in prison even though they had done nothing wrong. Instead of feeling grumpy, they decided to sing, sing, sing and praise God because he is always good. What happened next? Well, my panda friends, their songs were heard in heaven and their praise rocked the world. An earthquake came and shook the prison doors open. Whoa! Who knows what God will do when we praise him? We've learned some important lessons today, haven't we, my dear pandas? Yes. Number one, when we praise God, we show him how much we love him. And we remember what an amazing God he is and how much he loves us. On good days or bad days, there is always a reason to praise him. Excellent, pandas. Simply excellent. 
Don't forget point number two, Mr Narrator. Of course. What's that then, Lulu? Always keep your paws away from Venus fly traps. That is so kind of the pandas to show CJ just how much they care about her. Yeah, it's so nice when someone does something nice for us to show how much we mean to them. And that's how God must feel when we praise him. Shall we hear from our special guest today, Governor B? That sounds like a great idea. Yo, I'm Governor B. I'm a rapper and author from London. When I was growing up, my parents took me to church with them and I used to see people lifting their hands as high as they could, singing songs as loud as they could as a sign of praise to God. I didn't really get it. It felt a bit weird. A few years later, uh, I went to a rap concert. People were lifting their hands. They were singing the rap songs as loud as they could and rapping along as a sign of praise. And for some reason, that wasn't weird to me. At the same time, uh, I love football. And so I'd go to West Ham United football matches a lot. When the players walk out of the tunnel, they'd walk out to this song. It goes, I'm forever blowing bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the air. And I'd sing along as a sign of praise to the football team and to show them my support. When they scored a goal, everyone would cheer and praise them. And that wasn't weird to me either. Those rap concerts and those football matches made me realize that maybe we're all designed to praise something. God gives me way more than a rap concert could. He died on the cross so that we could have life. When we praise God, we're showing him that he is deserving of our praise and we are putting him number one in our lives. He brings us hope, peace and a reason to live. So that's why it's important to praise. Wow, it was so great to hear from Governor B. And he's so right. God really does bring us peace and hope. So it's so important that we do praise him. But can we only praise through singing and worship, George? No, there's lots of ways like praying and journaling. Do you know what? Shall we watch our craft for today? We are making praise dices that will give us lots of good ideas on how to praise. Let's do it. So today we're making some prayer dice. So when this is finished, you'll be able to roll your dice and it will give you an idea of a different way that you can praise. So to start off with, you need a cube net. You can find these easily on the internet and you can print one off or you can draw one out, which is what I've done. And it will end up looking like this. It looks like a cross. So you have four squares going down and two squares coming off one of the middle squares. And then add these tabs onto three of the squares like you can see here. Then whether you've drawn it out or you've printed this out, go ahead and cut it out. And then you're going to be left with this. Now, the next step is to fold carefully on along each line that you can see. So along every corner of every square you're going to fold and you're going to do the same with the tab and you can use your ruler to help you do this. Once everything is folded, you can then see if it's all going to fold together nicely and make sure all the lines are connected. Then you're going to turn it over and now we're going to start thinking about the different ways we can praise. So for example, I've thought about singing, dancing, maybe you go for a walk, read your Bible, journal, whatever you think. And I've popped them on each of these squares. Once that's done, add glue or double-sided sticky tape to each of the tabs so it makes it easier to stick together. And then you might need some help from an adult because this can be quite fiddly, but you're going to put your cube together and then you'll be left with your dice. And then once it's done, give it a roll and see where it lands.
we have had today. Shall we end in a prayer? Yeah, sure. So why don't you all find somewhere comfortable where you are? You could be sitting, you could be lying down, you could be standing, wherever you want, as long as you're comfortable. And then why don't you open your hands? We do this as a sign of being open to God. There's nothing magical in it. It's just us showing God that we're open. And then let's close our eyes so that we're not distracted by anything around us. God, thank you for the peace and love that you show us. Thank you that you're always there for us. And thank you that we can show you praise. Help us to find those moments to praise in the everyday. That even when things are tricky, we still find those moments to praise you. Amen. Amen. It was great to see you this week and we will see you again next week with the Cheeky Pandas. Bye!